So Kirsty, how did we actually start this project? Wow, that was that was a long time ago. I guess it all started in um, 2012 when the Technology Innovation Agency put out a call for sponsorships yeah. to try and get South African universities to take part in the 2012 SASA Solar Challenge. A team of lecturers and students from the Mechanical Engineering Department of UKZN brings you Hewleman, a solar-powered car which promotes green energy for the future, promoting local skill, creativity and design efficiency. Led by mechanical engineering lecturers, Dr. Clinton Bemont and Ms. Kirsty Veal, the project includes undergrad and master students who collaboratively committed to showcasing efficient vehicle design using renewable solar energy. Um, it is absolutely awesome having um, Dr. Van Jaarsveld, the Vice Chancellor of the University, as our official patron. He was here today driving the car around. Looks like he had a lot of fun. It was fantastic. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to take it on the highway. <laughs> yes, the Vice Chancellor of UKZN, Dr. Albert van Jarsveld, visited and actually drove the Hewleman solar car. Here's what he had to say. I would like to say to the whole team going to Australia that we at the uh, university are right behind them. Uh, we're going to be supporting them all the way. We may not be there physically, but certainly we. Uh, be there to, in spirit to ensure that, uh, that they succeed. I hope they get to the end, to the finish safely. I hope uh, they do very, very well in the process and keep fly, flying the UKZN flag in Australia as high as they possibly can. That's right. The team will be participating in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, which is a solar powered car race in Australia later this year. coefficient is, is incredibly low. It's competitive to international teams. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So our losses from, from aerodynamics, which is relative to speed, is, um, is quite low. It's not quite as good as a dolphin, but <laughs> we're getting there. Perhaps next time we should design it as a dolphin. <laughs> so what makes UKZN's Huleman solar car so special? The car has some impressive technical specifications. Huleman has an asymmetrical design with a highly aerodynamic profile. It has a small frontal area to improve the aerodynamic drag. The theoretical drag of the car is very low, which means that less energy will be used, enabling the car to go faster. The car, lightweight yet rigid and safe with fully carbon composite monocoque chassis, has 6 meters squared of silicon solar panels to harness energy from the sun which is stored in 21 kg's lithium-ion batteries. And of course, because the Huleman solar car was a project conceived and developed at a university, UKZN lecturers made sure that those students involved in its design achieved maximum learning benefits. On a full battery pack, the car can go 200 k's roughly. From my knowledge, the, he the heaviest um, single part is the bottom shell. And the car weighs 230 kgs. The car runs off a single 2 kilowatt hub motor. The first car I ever drove was a multi-million rand solar car. So the technical specs of the car it's driven by a single motor and we have four wheels. Each wheel has a German solar car tire, which is pumped up to eight bar. The total car weight is about 230 kilograms and the maximum speed we've designed it for is 130 kilometers per hour, but we're obviously limited by the speed limits on the roads. We also have a wireless telemetry system, which allows the follow car to monitor all aspects of the vehicle. Um, if the wireless uplink does drop between the car, the solar car and the follow vehicle, um, it's designed so that it will uh, reconnect as soon as the radios come back into range. The range is quite long, uh, we expect upwards of 200 meters in range. Um, so if the link does go down, the protocol should ensure that data transfer uh, is continuous as soon as the radios return back into range. 
sustainability and renewable energy is really the way to go. It's the way of the future. It's the only way that we could conserve or mitigate the use of natural resources and fossil fuels. Uh, with the UKZN Solar Car, our main aim was to promote awareness as well as try and develop the technology in South Africa and globally to try and push for um, the, the development of solar technology in use in vehicles. And of course, underlying all of the team's efforts is their determination to put UKZN on the map for achieving something truly outstanding. So my message to the UKZN solar car team for uh, their, uh, the best of luck uh, in uh, the international Australian uh, race. Guys, don't come back if you don't win. That's very simple. The importance of renewable energy research for mechanical engineering uh, goes a long way to help our students understand what engineering can be useful for social impact, uh, what the community needs, and also to assist our engineers in design, development, uh, testing uh, of their results. Uh, as a leadership in mechanical engineering, we are very keen to get involved in renewable energy and the Solar Car Initiative with the research group that's going to Australia. We are fully behind them and we want them to know that they're going to do as well as they can with the support that we're going to give them. What do you like this? nature's the necessary skills for our engineering student. It also provides an opportunity for our, our UKZN students to be able to showcase their skills against some of their very best in the world. UKZN is contributing to the advancement of sustainable energy technology. Uh, there, are, there is one patent and significant amount of research which has already originated uh, from this project. Uh, the project is vitally important uh, to the development of uh, South African human capital and uh, through the project we're developing a number of important links between the uh, University of KwaZulu-Natal and industry in the field of sustainable energy, uh, renewable energy, uh, technology and energy management. If you would like to follow the UKZN Huleman Solar Car team in their race across Australia, visit their Facebook and Twitter sites. To design a solar car is an expensive business. The generous support of funders has been critical in the ongoing success of the UKZN team's effort. UKZN is a research-driven university, being rated number one in South Africa in terms of research output. As such, one of the primary motivating factors for the development of Huleman Solar Car has been to push the boundaries of research into renewable energy and its capabilities. UKZN, inspiring greatness.